Today, I'm celebrating one year in the job. So I set myself the task of reflecting on what I've achieved in one year. So first of all, what I've achieved for myself is an engagement with an amazing community of staff and students. So tick, thank you for helping me do the job that I came here to do. So what are the other things that we've done? Well, uh, drought, longest drought recorded in recent history, uh, managing some of the most severe bushfires that Australia has experienced in many, many years, and then lo and behold, if drought bushfire wasn't enough, a pandemic, um, the COVID-19 pandemic has settled on its shoulders very heavily. So what else is there? This is not an exhaustive list, but just so that you know that I was paying attention and in case you've forgotten. First of all, we published the voice survey, which reflected on the views of the community, the views of our staff and the things they'd like to see us do better other and differently. As a result of that, we started the UNE conversations. Uh, we've now had over 1,500 people participate in different UNE conversations since last July. We've also progressed the Respect Now Always campaign, which means that UNE is taking very seriously the safety of its staff and students. We've developed a 10-year capital infrastructure plan for each of our campuses, which is now under review so that we can anticipate renewing developing and bringing new activities onto each of our um, study sites and campuses. We've reviewed our emergency managing procedures, funny that, in the middle of a pandemic. What else have we done? The university has brought in hundreds of thousands of dollars into the New England region through conferences and events, through graduation ceremonies. We've secured five stars in the Good University Guide for a number of different areas in which we excel in the support of our students. Well done, UNE staff. We've also learnt, launched the Digital Hospital, the new New England Virtual Hospital, just in time to support this community in the event of a COVID-19 outbreak, but also as an instrument to broaden the education that we offer to remote and rural Australia. And because of our commitment to that, we also contributed to the 2019 Naphtheon Review, which has just been uh, celebrated in the new higher education reforms that Minister Tehan has reported. We welcome the Honourable Ken Wyatt, who delivered the annual Frank Archibald Lecture, reflecting our appreciation of the world's oldest culture and its contribution to what UNE is hoping to achieve. And this week, we launched the University's Reconciliation reconciliation action plan we're at the reflect stage what we're going to do is reflect on whether we are enabled to do enough to make a difference in the context of reconciliation my thanks to a very broad community who contributed to that we've signed off not one but two new enterprise agreements one for our professional staff and one for our teaching uh, for our, sorry for our academic and english language teaching staff We've engaged with over 14 different international groups here because of the Culture Fest. I have had dinner with every single different residential college and the students who support them. We've celebrated 40 years of Agbu. We've also recognised the incredible legacy which was the Sheep CRC. What else have we done? Oh yes, we've run over 12,000 online exams in support of our students and our online response to the COVID-19 pandemic. There's that horrible word again. We've completed the phase one of the construction of the, new, the university's new solar farm. We've brought down a number of trees that were damaged and old, and we've started the process of planting what will be a collection of three million new trees at some point across this campus. 3,000 of them have already been planted. So that as we bring down old trees, we are creating a new habitat for the important wildlife here on campus. We've started the new UNE 21 Plus conversation, which will be the new strategic plan, a framework for the next 10 years for the university, an open conversation that everyone can contribute to for the first time. And because online is really important to us, We've also launched the cybersecurity education so that we're all safe and that the work that we do is appropriately protected without limiting the openness and transparency of how we operate as a community. What else have we done? Oh, I've probably eaten more meals than was good for my waistline. 
Uh, we've opened a new swimming pool renovation. If you haven't got wet yet, then please think about doing so. And finally, I did lose my beautiful cat Duster, but I did gain a cat Domino. There are a million other things that have happened in the past year. I'm sorry if I didn't name the particular thing that I participated in with you. But all the things that I've recognised today have been significant in terms of their impact on you and E and on our community. So to all of you who've been here in the village, in the community, in the family, at UNE participating to deliver education to the most amazing group of students have helped me connect with our alumni and link with our stakeholders. A very big thank you and a celebration of one year.